Good afternoon. Your Royal Highnesses, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Queen Sir David Attenborough, Professor Dame Jane Francis, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the entire Camel Earth workforce, I would like to welcome you all here today to celebrate an important milestone in the building of the Sir David Attenborough Polar Research Vessel. This vessel is truly unique, first of its class, and pushes the boundaries of marine engineering technology. As many of you know, Camel Earth has an unrivaled history. We built the first propeller-driven ship to cross the Atlantic, and in 1920, built the first all-welded ship. Some of the greatest ships ever built have been launched from our slipways. However, Camel Earth is also a family who have ex experienced the glittering highs and lows of heavy en engineering industry and it has taken 20 years to rebuild this capability and capacity. The Sir David Attenborough Polar Research Vessel adds to our remarkable history, and it's the largest specialist commercial vessel built in the UK for the last 30 years. The River Mersey has been the artery of life for the last two centuries, and I am proud to say that as in the past, Camel Earth maintains its heartbeat today. My message today is that Great British Engineering is here in Birkenhead. And this polar research ship before you is the pride of Merseyside and represents our re-emergence as a global maritime brand. Yeah. Thank you to your Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. You are both inspirational and represent the hopes and aspirations of our nation. And we are truly honoured to have you here with us today. We thank Sir David Attenborough for lending his name his name to this iconic vessel which go together oh so well. I thank our customer the Natural Environmental Research Council for their teaming approach and support. Huge thanks go to Peel Ports and the Right Honourable Frank Field MP and the entire Wirralborough Council team both past and present. Thanks to our partners Rolls-Royce, Holder Offshore and our entire supply chain community. Finally, to our management, staff, TU, workforce, and my board. This is a great day in Camel Earth's recent history, and we one that we will always remember. Thank you for your effort and commitment in providing the platform for Camel Earth to showcase again our skills to the world. I am proud of what we've achieved to date, and I'm proud of each and every one of you. Thank you. May I invite His Royal Highness, Duke of Cambridge, to say a few words. Your Royal Highness. Thank you, John, and uh, thank you to everyone for braving the weather and coming here today. We are, of course, here to celebrate a true British marvel, one that is strong, sturdy, and incredibly well-engineered, that deepens our understanding of the impact our behavior has on the world around us, and arms us with the facts to do something about it. An icon capable of feats not seen before and potentially never seen again. And no, I'm not talking about you, David. <laughs> Those words wouldn't do you and your lifetime's work justice. I'm referring to the hugely impressive ship behind us, named in your honour, that Catherine and I have just had the pleasure of looking around. 
The RRS Sir David Attenborough is a testament to the cutting edge science and engineering expertise right here on Merseyside. It is also a testament to the UK's world leading role on polar research. Through this state of the art new ship, the British Antarctic Survey will help to expand global knowledge of the polar oceans and the impact of climate change on this crucial region. As last week's climate protests the world over and yesterday's report on our oceans and frozen regions demonstrated, there has never been a more important moment for this ship to get to work. And there is no person more fitting for this beacon of scientific research to be named after than you, David. You have shown us how awe-inspiring the natural world is, and also how fragile and endangered it is. And you have inspired us all to do as much as we possibly can to protect it. It is my immense privilege and relief to welcome Sir David Attenborough, rather than Boaty McBoatface, <laughs> to speak. <laughs> Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, it's no news to any of you that the world at the moment is facing great, great problems. And the most aware of that are the young people of today who will inherit this world. Great problems require great research and facts in order to solve them. That's what this astonishing ship will be here to do, to find out the facts, to find the science with which to deal with the problems that are facing the world today and will increasingly do so tomorrow. So there could be no more important function for any ship anywhere in the world than those which are going to be dealt with by this remarkable ship at the cutting edge of science. It is the greatest possible honor that it should carry this marvelous ship, should carry my name and I wish good luck, good fortune to everyone who will sail and work with her. Thank you very much. May I introduce you, Professor Dane Jane Francis from British Antarctic Survey. Ladies and gentlemen, as director of the British Antarctic Survey, this is an incredibly proud day for me and I would really like to thank so, so many thanks to everybody here in Camel Laird who've helped build this ship, design and build this ship, and to everyone in the British Antarctic Survey, that's uh, engineers, project people, mariners and scientists who've helped design this ship. What an amazing ship it is. <laughs> and we're incredibly excited and proud to take this ship to the ends of the earth to try and predict our future. And now, let's, without further ado, let's name this ship formally and take her to the polar regions. And I'd like to invite Her Royal Highness, Duchess of Cambridge, the honor of coming to name the ship. <laughs> It's
it gives me great pleasure to name this ship Sir David Attenborough, and may God bless her and all those who sail in her.